Please, I would like to report to the general uh, public what happened on Sunday evening. My daughter and her colleague, my daughter Chidemma Ajoko, who works at, uh, who used to work at FAN, or who was working at FAN at that time before her death, was returning from work, Federal Airport Authority. She was returning from work with her colleague, Won Chima, and they were in a commuter bus, and the bus, I think the bus either stopped to pick passengers or uh, stopped to drop passengers, and the reckless um, a, a, a trailer driver that was carrying a, 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 a container was speeding and fell on, on, on the bus. I, I waited and waited the whole night, up to 2 p.m. in the night, 2 a.m. in the night, waiting for my daughter to come back from work. I was calling her auntie where she was staying in, uh, in Suleri, because she was staying in Suleri. I was going to work at the, the airport. Both of us did not sleep till morning around 6 a.m. when a colleague called me and told me that she was involved in an accident and that they were at the Solo General Hospital. When we got to the Solo General Hospital, they were not among those people that were brought in there and they referred us to a hospital in Yaba, a general hospital in Yaba, and we went there and they told us that we had to go and check the morgue because they did not bring any uh, living person. And uh, my, my, my friend's husband and my sons went and checked in the morgue and saw my daughter and her colleague. I would like to tell the public that this is getting too much. These containers, they keep on killing people and nobody talks. This my daughter was 27 years old, working in Federal Airport Authority. She went to Babcock University and she was planning to travel abroad to do her master's in the near future. And this is just how life has been snuffed out of her. This news was on channels television on Sunday evening. Of course, I couldn't watch it. These tankers and trailers were virtually off the road during the day, except they were allowed to fly in the, in the night. But now, they are all everywhere very reckless, I don't know where, what they drink while they drive, you know, they, they fall on, on cars, maybe a whole family that was, just the other day, a whole family that was coming from Night Vigil, one of the, the, the containers fell, fell on the car, and so many, so many examples that I cannot even trace, but this one I said, no, if my daughter's life is going to be used to, to stop this thing, then let it be what I've achieved. Mm -hmm. But I cannot keep quiet. I know that maybe they'll say I'm nobody until somebody's uh, child's life, you know, is snuffed out before they do something. But I think everybody in this Lagos, whether you have a car, whether you enter a bus, whether you drive your own car, all of what, our lives are in danger. Because we encounter all these uh, trailers with containers every day. And they are very reckless. Please, let something be done. I'm ready to, you know, grab more interviews. Because this one is too much. I lost my husband last year, March. <laughs> Just within a year and three months, I'm losing my first daughter. <laughs> what kind of thing is this? And, and they just show it on the news and, and that's it. Nobody talks. Nobody wants to do anything. I sent a, a, a cousin of mine to the police station and, and the, the, the police said that they cannot trace the owner of the, of the, of the car, uh, that the driver took the particulars and ran away with the conductor. But the, 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 trailer, the, the, the trailer is there, the container is, is there. And they said that the owner called and said he was going to come and that they are going to arrest him if he comes. But that's all. After that, my cousin went, he came back home. So I want the, the whole public to, to, to react to this to this uh, uh, video. Let something let justice be done. Let let, let, let the, the, these people be punished so that others will learn. Thank you.